Today I'm making a rice solid hair conditioner using rice water and rice starch. The first step is to prepare the rice water. Start by rinsing the rice thoroughly to remove any impurities. Once the rice is clean, transfer the rice to a container and add distilled water. Cover the container and let it sit in the fridge overnight. The next day, strain the rice and keep the rice water for the hair conditioner. You can find the formula and more information on the website. The link is in the description. I start with phase A, mixing gargum and glycerin to create a slurry. In the written post, you have the measurements and a calculator to adjust the amounts you wish to make and alternatives to the ingredients. Guar gum has conditioning properties and helps lock in moisture, preventing dryness and keeping the hair hydrated. After creating the slurry, I added the rice water I prepared before. Rice water contains inositol, a carbohydrate that can penetrate the hair shaft and repair damaged hair. This helps reduce breakage and improve hair strength. I added links to articles in the written post about the benefits of rice water in hair products. I covered phase A and moved on to phase B. In phase B, I used BTMS 25. BTMS is a cationic surfactant with conditioning properties. BTMS reduces static electricity in the hair, minimizing frizz and flyaways. You can use BTMS 50 instead of the BTMS 25. BTMS 50 has a higher concentration of behentrimonium methyl sulfate than BTMS 25. So, if you want more conditioning properties, use BTMS 50. Next, I added cetyl alcohol. Cetyl alcohol gives the conditioner bar a silky texture that helps the bar glide on the hair. Cetyl alcohol main function is as an emollient. It softens and moisturizes the hair. Despite its moisturizing properties, cetyl alcohol is lightweight and non-greasy. I use coconut oil for this hair conditioner. Coconut oil penetrates the hair shaft and helps to hydrate the hair. Next in phase B, I used Coco Caprylate. Coco Caprylate is considered an alternative to silicones. Coco Caprylate has a light texture that doesn't weigh down the hair or leave it feeling greasy. Another lightweight and non-greasy emollient I used is Jojoba Wax. Jojoba Wax is excellent at moisturizing hair. It can add shine to the hair and help control hair frizz. I also use steric acid as a thickening agent and an emollient. Like cetyl alcohol, steric acid improves the slip and detangling properties of the hair conditioner bar. Steric acid also helps to achieve a creamy texture to the conditioner bar. In the past year, I started adding lecithin to conditioner bars and I love the extra moisture and feel lecithin adds to a solid bar. Lecithin contains phospholipids which helps strengthen the hair shaft and improve hair elasticity. This is how phase B looks now before I added the last ingredient, the rice starch. Rice starch adds a silky velvety texture to the final bar. Rice starch also helps to add volume and thickness to the hair strands. I place phases A and B into a double boiler to melt everything before I combine them. The BTMS can take some time to melt entirely. Some people grind the BTMS into a powder to melt it faster. I stirred phase B every five minutes to ensure everything was well incorporated. In phase C, I prepared a citric acid solution by combining citric acid powder and rice water. Make sure the citric acid is fully dissolved before adding the rest of the phase C ingredients. I added sodium lactate. Check the written post for alternatives if you want to replace the sodium lactate with other ingredients. The last two ingredients in phase C are the preservative and the fragrance. The 
since I have a lot of hard emollients in this formula and once I take them out of the heat, they start to harden and solidify. I decided to combine phases A and B while inside the double boiler. First, you need to ensure everything is well combined, so stir phase B for a minute. Then, stir phase A and reduce the heat to low. While still inside the double boiler on low heat, add phase A to phase B and mix them with a high speed blender. I used a milk frother, since I made a small amount. If you want to add color, mix it now and combine it. I used a combination of two mica powders, indigo and ruby red. This combination gave a lovely pale purple to the conditioner bar. I removed the mixture from the heat and added phase C. I poured the mixture into a silicone mold and let it cool down and solidify for several hours. Once the bar has cooled down and solidified, you can release it from the mold and use it. The formula with more information is linked in the description. This conditioner bar can last for several months. Use the bar on wet hair, gliding it onto the hair, focusing on the mid lengths and ends. After applying the conditioner, gently massage it into your hair. Let the conditioner sit for a few minutes and then rinse your hair with water. You can also use it as a hair mask. Leave it on the hair for 5 to 10 minutes and then rinse it with water. After using it, allow the solid conditioner bar to dry completely before storing it. Place it in a well-drained soap dish or container away from water to prevent it from becoming mushy.